Hi everyone, this is Terrence McDevitt with Bluefish Development Group. Today I wanted to walk through uh, what's known as Alfresco Mobile Work Desk. It's a new product uh, for Alfresco uh, that was part of a, an acquisition of a company called WeWebU a few months ago. And uh, Mobile Work Desk is actually just a component of uh, the Work Desk suite, which includes two other products called Office Work Desk and then the Core Work Desk Server. So WorkDesk is a, a really great way to look at a content repository and be able to provide tailored views or custom views to specific users, user groups in your organization. So Share is, is a nice experience and it's great for collaboration, but it exposes the repository sort of in a general use case, uh, whereas WorkDesk looks at it more as specific business use cases. So you might actually have uh, different departments in your organization that want to view content in a different way and it allows you to sort of do that through configuration. So Mobile Workdesk is uh, the mobile instance of Workdesk. And what I wanted to show today is the basic setup of a Mobile Workdesk account. We started working on this uh, with Workdesk for a few of our client projects and have slowly started looking into Mobile Workdesk and realized that the configuration of it isn't really as straightforward as perhaps we would have would have liked so we wanted to just shed some light on what's going on with the configuration and, and hopefully alleviate some issues you might run into uh, doing the same so what we're looking at here is the mobile work desk uh, app it's available in the uh, Apple App Store and it looks very much similar to the uh, Alfresco mobile app it's pretty much going to be the same thing as far as we can tell um, but if I click into, um, you see I have two accounts here. This is kind of the default place that you get dropped into. Uh, I've got two accounts here, one called Mobile Work Desk Server, one called Alfresco. Uh, I can name those whatever I want, but hap that happens to be the name we're using right now. So if I click into Mobile Work Desk Server, um, I can do a few things. I can browse. I can go through um, you know, a particular part of the repository, and, and I can go ahead and look at documents uh, and, you know, preview comes up, it looks exactly like you would expect it to. It's kind of nice. So that's sort of a browse use case. I can also uh, search the repository and I can find documents, folders, um, specify some criteria. Name is like sample or test, let's say. We'll go ahead and search and I should get some documents back. So, you know, nothing, uh, nothing fancy there. That's kind of what we're all, I think, used to seeing. Um, but there's an interesting piece down here. It's called the Alfresco entry. And so what's the difference? Well, now I'm, if I look at this, I just see browse and search. Whereas with mobile work desk server, I could see something called processing. Um, and I see a, something in here called dossiers. So that's sort of a, a work desk specific concept. Uh, and the reason I'm talking about this is that you have two ways to connect to the repository through mobile work desk. You can connect through straight up through Seamus and connect to Alfresco and you sort of get the browse search uh, functionality out of the box. Um, or you can go through what's called Mobile Work Desk Server and Mobile Work Desk Server is sort of a layer on top of Alfresco and it provides all of the kind of the goodness that Work Desk provides. Okay, so I've talked a little bit about the difference between connecting. You can connect through the repository through just straight up Seamus. Uh, through the Alfresco connector or the mobile work desk server connector, which gives you a, a better sort of a more tailored view into the repository. So how is that done? Well, you can do that in, over here in settings. Um, you can say manage accounts uh, and you can actually add accounts. And this is really the point of this, this video is to talk about the difference between these and, and setting these up. So if you go to add a new account, there's some standard information in here, username, password, and all of that is pretty straightforward. Server address, this is actually your Alfresco server address, so your IP or your host name, uh, and then a description, you can call it whatever you want. The interesting part of this, so the part that was interesting and sla slash confusing, confusing to us a little bit was this part down here where we're talking about advanced. So you can specify a port, obviously whatever port Tomcat's running on or whatever app server you're using to host Alfresco. But then there's this piece here where it, was, it says connector. And um, if you're using mobile work desk, then of course you want to use the mobile work desk server. Uh, but what wasn't very obvious is why there's a difference between the mobile work desk server and down here where we have Alfresco. And basically what that means is, uh, again, if you just say Alfresco, all you have to specify is the port to Alfresco and then the URL to Seamus, so the kind of the root URL for Seamus. Um, and by default, work, mobile work desk automatically puts that URL in here. So if I just want to connect to the repository and browse and search, fine, I just pick Alfresco as the connector. Um, 
if I'm using mobile work desk and I want to be able to provide uh, kind of the, the tailored view to users, then I would pick the connector as the mobile work desk server. The reason this is a little bit confusing is because once you do that, you still have to specify a service document, um, and that service document is still the Alfresco service document, the CMIS service document, so slash Alfresco slash service slash CMIS. Um, and in addition to that, you also specify details about where the work desk web app is, is located. Uh, in our case, we just happen to have WorkDesk on the same box as Alfresco. So the server address, the port um, is going to be the same. And then the service path down here actually changes to the web app name. So in this case, it would be slash mobile WorkDesk or whatever you've called the web app in your deployment. So you do need both. Uh, this is, it's not, you know, maybe at some point they'll change this where you can just specify just the mobile work desk piece and it figures out how to connect to Alfresco because it still needs to have that information configured behind the scenes anyway. So I'm not sure why that's not being used, but you do need to specify both. So you need to specify the connector to Alfresco as well as the connector to mobile work desk. Uh, and once you've done that, I'm going to cancel this. Once you've done that, you'll see your account show up here. Uh, and then you can click over here on mobile work desk and you can actually pick which, which account you want to log into. Uh, and of course, your accounts can be connecting to, to different Alfresco servers in your organization. So um, that's the, the primary uh, point of this video. I wanted to just show uh, how you actually add an account and what the difference is between Mobile Work Desk Server and the Alfresco connector. Thanks.